Are you able to hear me? Namaste. Are you able to hear me? Okay, we will start. Come to comfortable position. Back erect. Neck erect. Eyes closed. Gentle smile on your face. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows. Gently rest your palms with your index finger touching your thumb, trying to feel the pulse on your thighs. Forget all the tensions and worries and focus only on your breathing. When you inhale, your abdomen is bulging. When you exhale, your abdomen is sinking down. With each breath, you are becoming more and more relaxed. Slowly move your concentration to your nostrils. When you inhale, cool air is going inside. When you exhale, warm air is rushing out. Slowly move your concentration to the center of your eyebrows. Imagine one omkara of any size, of any shape, of any bright color. While focusing on this omkara, we are going to chant it three times. Inhale.
Feel the effect of Pranava Omkara on your mind and body. Contemplate on today's topic, practice and more. What do you understand by practice? It can be practice of anything. It can be a practice of any musical instrument, singing, writing, painting, or for that matter, yoga practice. And more. Keep few points in your mind to discuss later. Try to ponder over this subject that what does practice mean actually and what are more things which are needed for the results in any practice. With that, Gently adopt Namaskara Mudra. Palms pressing against each other. Index finger and thumb touching the center of the chest. Inhale. with the left palm. Inhale, arch your back, look up. Exhale, bend from the root of your back. Touch your forehead to the ground. Express gratitude to Mother Earth, Almighty, your parents and Guru. Slowly inhale and come up. Slowly release your hands. With few blinks, you may open your eyes. So today we are going to practice first Surya Namaskara. Come to either chair or come on your mat. I am going to do on chair because many of my viewers they do on chair. We'll do all 12 Surya Namaskaras today. Sit comfortably in the chair, support your back with the backrest, support your thighs nicely, support your legs along with the legs of the chair. Slowly add up Namaskar Mudra, Omkara followed by Surya Mantra, Hiranmayana Patrena, inhale. Oh, Hiran Mayena Patreda Satyasya Pihitam Mukham Tatvam Pushanapa Satyasya 
ಸತ್ಯಧರ್ಮಾಯ ದೃಷ್ಟ ಮಿತ್ರಯ ನಮಃ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ದ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ದ್ವೇನ್ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪಾಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಚೆಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀಣಿ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ಪಾಮ್ಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ನೀಸ್ ಚತ್ವಾರಿ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಅನ್ ಯುವರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಲೆಗ್ ಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಪಂಚ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಅನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಲೆಗ್ ಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಶರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಚ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಬೆಂಡ್ ಡೌನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ touch your chest to the knees and rest your palms on the floor sapta inhale raise your right hand up twist your body look towards the right fingers exhale ashta inhale nava left hand up exhale dasta left hand down ಚತ್ವಾರಿ ಷಟ್ ಸಪ್ತ ಅಷ್ಟ ನವ ದಶ ಏಕಾದಶ ದ್ವಾದಶ ಕಂಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ವೈಲ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಓಂ ಹೋಂ ಸೂರ್ಯ ನಮಃ ಏಕಂ ದ್ವೇ ತ್ರೀಣಿ ಚತ್ವಾರಿ ಪಂಚ ಷಟ್ ಸಪ್ತ ಅಷ್ಟ ನವ ದಶ ಏಕಾದಶ ದ್ವಾದಶ ಷಟ್ ಸಪ್ತ ಅಷ್ಟ ನವ ದಶ ಏಕಾದಶ ಸಪ್ತ 
अष्ट नव दश एकादश द्वादश ब्रह्मापूष्णे नमः एकम द्वे त्रिनी चत्वारी पंच षट सप्त अष्ट नव दश एकादश द्वादश रिलीज रिलैक्स फॉर अ बिट यू कैन आई दर कंटिन्यू ऑन चेयर mat or you, from mat you can come to the chair i am going to continue on chair gently stand up from the chair and we'll do tadasana stretch full body stretch from tadasana gently come to standing position interlock your fingers keep the distance of the legs not a problem 15 to 20 cm inhale stretch up exhale two more rounds inhale stretch Inhale, stretch. Exhale, down. Release. Come down. Come back into the chair. Once again, a lot of namaskar mudra. straighten your back the way inhale take your hands up stretch expand your chest trini exhale bring your hands straight down palms resting on your knees chatwari inhale and exhale straighten your right leg hold it back pancha inhale and exhale straighten your left leg hold it back shut inhale look up exhale go down keep your palms resting on the floor sat the inhale straighten your right hand up twist your body look towards right fingers exhale last up inhale left hand up straighten your left hand look towards left fingers exhale go down dasha inhale ekadasha come back raise your hands up dwadasha exhale come back into namaskar mantra om rim marichaye namaha चत्वारी पंच षट सप्त अष्ट 
नव दश एक आदिय नम एक सवित्रे नम एक चार पंच षट सप्त अष्ट नव दश एक ओम हौम अर्काय नम एक चारि पंच षट रिलीज रिलैक्स कंटेम्पलेट ऑन द इफेक्ट ऑफ सूर्य नमस्कार ऑन युअर माइंड एंड बॉडी जेंटली यू कैन ग्लाइड युअर बॉडी डाउन इन शशांक आसन ऑफ द चेयर on exhalation just relax your body completely you have to relax your shoulders actively actively you have to relax your paraspinal muscles allow them to relax breathe normally what you can do is you can hold your elbows also and relax
Slowly inhale and come up. Slowly release your hands. You can take them back. Keep your shoulders nicely stretched and take your hands back. Padamudra, where your index fingers are interlocked. Uh, your all the fingers are interlocked and your index finger is straightened. And left thumb is over the right thumb. I will show you in another view. Keep nice stretch. Inhale, look up. You can go back. Take the complete support of the backrest. Only make sure that you don't fall. Keep your feet, feet grounded nicely. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release. I will show you in another way. You can have a look. We are going down. Slowly inhale and come up. Keep your shoulders nicely stretched. Take your hands back, interlock, index fingers straight down. Inhale and go back. Normal breathing. Inhale and come up once again. Release. While exhalation, relax. We will discuss for five minutes. Namaste, everybody. We will discuss for five minutes about practice and more. What is the Sanskrit word for practice? Regular practice, what is the Sanskrit word? Can anybody share? And what is your understanding about your own yoga practice? Anything in short and uh, sweet words you can uh, let me know. Meanwhile, I will tell you why I chose this topic. Very nice, Abhyasa. Excellent. Everybody, very nice. Very good. So, the thing is, yesterday I got a comment on uh, my yesterday's uh, lecture that what to do for circular motions. The circular motion we discussed yesterday, whirlpool, And it, it is basically explaining the definition of yoga by Patanjali. What does it mean? It means yesterday I was trying to say you that yoga is chitta vritti nirodaha. Means yoga is the, basically the words are there, but the words are not written there. They are written later in Patanjali Yoga Sutras after few shlokas. Yoga, Chitta, Vritti, Nirodaha. The hidden words are by continuous practice. Chitta, Vritti can be stopped or cessation of mind can be achieved. So, practice, continuous practice is the Abhyasa. Okay. Another thing is there is another virtue which needs to be uh, achieved. That virtue is Vairagya. Vairagya means what? Vairagya means non-attachment. I will not say detachment. Instead of that, I will say non-attachment. Because attachment, non-attachment, and then there is something called as detachment. Detachment will have a component of, some component of I feel hatred. 
so i i i do not want to use that word as uh, detachment i want to use the word as non attachment so you are not attached also you are not detached also you are in the middle which is called as non attached mind so mind needs to be stopped by regular practice that is abhyasa and through the practice of non attachment why non attachment because when you are doing abhyasa or any karma for that matter if we talk in terms of gita then if you are doing any karma or any practice you will expect results and when you expect results it becomes the practice with attachment and when you attach your expectations of results your anxiety levels will go up or else your performance levels will come down for that if you are you you are wanting to you know hold your mind and get that chitta vritti nirodha then you are supposed to practice with vairagya and ultimate goal of this whole practice has to be holistic what does it mean means you are not doing yoga for your own benefits you are doing yoga for the benefit of all the chitta vritti nirodha is not for personal gains it is for the gain of the whole supreme consciousness which is there in everybody until and unless you realize you will not be able to make others realize so that is why the practice which has to be done the practice has to be done regularly one then only it will be called as abhyasa another thing is it has to be done with vairagya vairagya means what it has to be done with non attachment and the third thing is there the goal or the motive of the practice has to be higher okay somebody has written something here with sincere practice one gets deeper knowledge and makes the task easy practice makes man and women both perfect okay and do with full body and mind yes very good patience and perseverance yes that is also very very important there is a time period of practice practice abhyas i you have done one day and you will tell you are an expert no it is not possible the practice keeps on happening and it keeps on improving you will understand and you would have understand uh, understood by now then practice me one realize how much one involves and experiences the skill that is also very important and do the task daily with interest and with lot of perseverance yes very nice and practice makes it perfect and becomes as habit yes very good so one more thing very small thing that any practice of yoga yoga practice is huge variety of practices are there i have been taking this uh, lockdown series since last two days 35, 35 days are over today what i would like to say you is that the practice of any particular asana or any particular pranayama or mudra or bandha is not important the basis of the practice is whether you are able to detach your mind or you are able to non attach your mind from the practice or from your own ego that is very very important then only the benefits the bigger benefits of all these practices will come yesterday the person uh, she asked me that whether i can practice this circular motion asanas daily or not you can practice these asanas but along with your mindfulness along with that feeling of emptiness or mindfulness or feeling of that circular motion which is happening within the body now circular motion one more thing which she had mentioned was circular motion is not good it is not like that circular motion is a normal phenomenon in each and every atom around the 
nucleus the electrons are also moving in circular fashion okay so what does it mean also the blood also is circulating continuously there are many joints which need to move in circular motion then only their function will be good so it means that circular motion is good in one particular way but here we were talking about circular motion of the thought process the continuous recurring thoughts which are happening and which are hampering our understanding about ourselves that is which are hampering the self realization process so i hope i have answered the question and i hope that uh, today i have given you a tool to understand your practice in a deeper manner that is whether your practice comes into the category of abhyasa and vairagya that you have to understand and whether your practice leads to a higher goal with that understanding we will continue next practice come to sitting position anything else we can discuss later in the end come to sitting position keep your keep your legs together straight back straight inhale and exhale fold your right leg inhale and exhale fold your left leg sit on your ankles that is in vajrasana increase the distance one forearm and take one forearm distance straight in front and come to your knees and your palms okay now today we are going to increase the variation of this tiger breathing that is we will first initially we will make simple tiger breathing that is inhale look up exhale suck your abdomen in and completely look towards your umbilicus c and d so inhale look up exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale come to normal position now when you inhale take your right leg back and straighten it up and try to arch your back look up as much as possible so inhale and then alternate leg left leg okay inhale exhale inhale exhale now when you exhale try to bring your knees front and touch your forehead to the knee okay inhale right leg now exhale inhale 
Exhale. Inhale, left leg. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now, once again, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. If you are not able to do, do simple. The first stage only you can continue to do. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Then slowly bring your legs together behind at the ankle level. And slowly you can go down and just lie down in Sajankasana. Allow yourself to completely relax for at least half a minute. I'll be back. Slowly inhale and come up. Now, slowly release your left leg. Slowly release your right leg. Lie down on your abdomen. We are going to perform that multi stages dandasana. So keep your hands by the side of your chest. Keep your hands by the side of your chest and keep your elbows as close to the body as possible. Engage your toes. You are not able to see my toes, but engage your toes in such a way that you can lift your body. Okay. Now your chin touching the ground. Just lift only for 2-3 centimeters. Lift your body up with inhalation. Inhale. Hold it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Exhale. Now 2-3 centimeters more. Inhale. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एक्सेल फ्यू मोर सेंटीमीटर्स इनहेल वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एक्सेल ट्राई टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट योर वेट नाइसली अलॉन्ग द फार्म्स एंड द फिंगर्स ओके इनहेल वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एक्सेल नाउ लिफ्ट एटलीस्ट वन फुट अब द ग्राउंड इनहेल वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एक्सेल now you are supposed to straighten your elbows completely keep your body straight like a stick okay this will be called as chaturanga dandasana variations okay inhale 1 2 3 4 5 exhale while going down try to go down as slowly as possible two more rounds of complete straightening of the elbows inhale lift 1 2 3 4 5 exhale come down very very slowly inhale 1 2 3 4 5 exhale release relax relax in makarasana legs apart ankles towards the center right hand on the left shoulder left hand on the right shoulder chin touching the cross forearms slowly turn towards right lie down on your back keep your hands above your head inhale fold your right leg exhale fold your right folded leg with your both the hands and try to touch your forehead to the knees inhale release exhale inhale fold your left leg exhale inhale exhale now do it with both the legs inhale exhale inhale exhale enjoy the moment don't do it with tension you do it with full ease enjoy enjoy the moment okay once again right leg inhale exhale inhale exhale 
Inhale, left leg. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Both the legs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now, two more rounds of both the legs together. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Release, relax. You can increase the rounds up to 10 also, depending upon your convenience. Gently you have to do, depending upon your convenience. This is a very good asana for improving digestion process, stimulating liver, kidney, all the abdominal organs nicely. Also, it is it gives a very gentle stretch to the spine. After sufficient relaxation, slowly turn towards right in a systematic manner. Hold your left leg, straighten your left leg, keep your left hand along the left sides. You'll feel the linear stretch along the right side of the body and slowly come up to sitting position. Gents, they will come to Siddhasana. Ladies, they can come to Siddha Yoni Asana or any comfortable asana which you can do. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows. Three rounds of Anulom Vilom. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. One is to two ratio. That is, if you inhale for four counts, exhale for eight counts. Start.
प्रिपेर योर सेल्फ फॉर कपाल भाती दैट इज ओनली फोर्सफुल एक्सिलेशन इनहेलेशन विल ऑकर ऑन इट्स ओन फर्स्ट टेन राउंड ऑफ कपाल भाती टेन स्ट्रोक्स ओनली टेन स्ट्रोक्स प्रिपेर योर माइंड स्टार्ट normal breathing 20 strokes inhale do it up to your comfort level don't force yourself into anything enjoy the subtle changes in your breathing thirty rounds thirty strokes feel the changes which are happening forty strokes Fifty strokes, if possible. If you need to stop in between, you can stop. No need to complete fifty strokes. Just enjoy the sensation of breathing, the kevala kumbaka, and deep and slow breathing. Fifty strokes. Gently adopt Prana Mudra for a while. Third and the fourth finger. Third and the fourth finger touching the thumb. Try to feel the pulse.
Can you use the changes which have happened over a period of last one hour? Feel the flow of prana within your body. Slowly and up Namaskara Mudra. Omkara followed by Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina. Inhale. back, hold your right wrist with the left palm, inhale, arch your back, look up, exhale, bend from the root of your back, touch your forehead to the ground, express gratitude to Mother Earth Almighty, your parents and Guru, slowly inhale and come up, slowly release your hands, slowly, Rub your palms against each other to generate heat or positive energy. Keep them over your eyes, keep them over your head, neck, shoulder, arms, forearms, chest, abdomen, thighs and the legs. With few blinks, you can open your eyes. Dhanyavad. Any comments? Any feedback? That is uh, tiger breathing. The baby crawl posture which you told and lifting back and forth uh, one leg at a time. That is tiger breathing. Any uh, questions, any queries, any feedback, you are most welcome. Please share this video, please like, please comment also and do your practice. We pray for the universe and but we do yoga for others, not clear. See, <laughs> if if your mind is not in an, your control, you may do something destructive. Okay. And if your mind is in your control, then you will always be doing something constructive. You can look around, you will understand that what is the importance of yoga. Yoga is the practice through which the animal within us comes under control. So if one animal is less because of yoga practice, then it is practice for others because you are not exhibiting your animal within because your animal within has been subsided by the practice of yoga. That is why you are not going to harm others or you are not going to do anything destructive when any potential situation arises. Okay. So, I hope I have made it slightly clear. Maybe I may take one class on that also in next one or two days. Dhanyavad, doctor. Felt a good stretch all over the body. Very nice. 
enjoyed the session doctor good stretch to full body kapal bhati is refreshing breathing steady good feeling dhanyawad agar okay very nice these practices really re- generates our life yes whole body stretch is excellent with non attachment thank you doctor okay ji very nice okay with that understanding always remember that we all have to be healthy happy and prosperous together none of us have to suffer and along with plants and animals on this planet we live in peace and harmony okay with that understanding with that prayer we take a leave have a nice day dhanyawad thank you thank you everybody very nice